Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So this is gonna be another pick a card reading. Um, this is actually gonna be a little bit different. I do wanna say I am still going to do the pick a card reading for what's next in love, okay? So stay tuned for that. But I did wanna switch it up a little bit. Um, I wanted to do a pick a card reading on who is jealous of you, who's been doing black magic on you, who has been sending the evil eye? I do want to say I'm going to be very descriptive. I am using my clairvoyant and my clairaudient abilities. Um, so when I go ahead through each pile, I am going to be very descriptive on who I see. So this may not be for everyone, obviously, okay? But take what you, you can get from it. Take whatever that, you know, resonates and then keep that. And anything else is not for you, that's okay. Um, I do want to say thank you so much for all of you guys just being here. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for being so amazing per usual. And I would love to hear from you. Let me know if this resonates. Okay. Um, also I do want to just say that, um, I will be announcing that I'm going to start um, a business on spell work, but this won't be later till later on. Okay. I'm going to get a little more detailed. I am a witch. I do, you know, I do, uh, work with manifestation. I call it manifestation. I also want to say, I want to be very clear. Our words can be spells. Okay. So when we speak, we are weaving our words into our reality. So it's not so much about, people really coming together and trying to ruin your life. It's more, I mean, some, in some cases, we're going to check it out, but our words can actually create our reality and your thoughts as well, especially if you are naturally intuitive and you don't know it, if you're a natural psychic and you don't know it, if you're putting out negative en emanations, like it's manifest, like manifesting into the reality. So, you know, this can also be something to take into consideration, okay? I personally like to work with indigenous um, backgrounds, like indigenous roots, just because, you know, my on my dad's side, I'm Navajo, and so I just, I, I prefer that, and I feel very drawn to, you know, huru and things of that nature. So anyway, we'll discuss that a little bit more. We're going to jump in. I am going to clarify here. So, okay, I'm going to have you pick your deck, okay, you guys? So, this is going to be your first deck, the Seventh Spear. Your second deck is the Psychic Tarot. And the third is the Radiant Wise. Please take a moment, pause, choose your deck. Okay. I want you guys to really use your intuition. One, two in the middle, and three. If you need more time, pause the video. So for those of you, again, who are new, I don't know if I just said this, but yes, I am a psychic medium. I'm clairvoyant and clairaudient. Um, and I'm going to start with the channeled message, okay? So let's jump right in and see what's happening. I'm going to try to be as descriptive as possible through my clairvoyance. So... Who is doing black magic on you, an evil eye? Let's see if there's anyone here. Pile one. Okay, so some of you guys had an issue with someone when it came to the law. It, it, there's, there's an issue here surrounding the law, surrounding... Um, either a, it was like a criminal kind of background or criminal activity. There's something here involving, you were dealing with someone who did something to you, okay? Um, this person may have stolen from you or they did something deceptive to you, okay? I feel like there's a strong sense of like not liking each other. This person um, has dark hair, dark curly hair, and I feel like they, they talk very loud and they're very like... Um, their skin, they may have like kind of discoloration in their skin. I am seeing that it's, um, they may like to use very bright lipstick. Okay. Um, this person has a lot to say about your life. 
is what I'm getting. This person has a lot to say about your life, okay? I feel like they've been definitely talking about you. You guys had a fallen out. So who's doing, who's jealous of you and doing black magic on you? Let's see. Or is this even happening? Okay. I feel a lot of you guys were in a situation where there was a lot of giving to this person, okay? Um, I don't I don't know yet if there is actual black magic being done here, but I feel like there was a dispute. So we're going to start there, a little background. There was a dispute here, okay? Um, I feel that this energy speaks of you having to learn a very strong karmic lesson about this, okay? And it may have been with... Um, it may have been with someone that you were dating. Yeah, may if, with that 444, four, four, it may have been someone you were actually living with and dating. Um, I feel like an energy here as well, like there is a sense of accusation, okay? Because I am getting um, like the justice involved in kind of like a court environment, someone accusing you of something or you're accusing them of something. And it almost feels like a legal battle. This feels like a legal battle. I feel like you're dealing with a Gemini Aquarius Libra. This could be a feminine or masculine energy, okay? I feel like you're dealing with, um, or a Virgo, a strong Virgo energy is coming through here, okay? It could be a Taurus Capricorn. More specifically, someone who has a fire moon. This is someone who has a fire sign moon, okay? But something was not in balance, okay? There was a lot of injustice here in this situation, and I feel like a lot of you guys had to, like, fight for your justice is what I'm hearing. And I do feel like maybe, you know, the situation, I feel like you tried to ignore it. I feel like you were getting intuitive messages about this person and a lot of you guys were trying to ignore it about this person because I feel like you really cared. This feels like a friend. It could be someone you're dating as well. Um, and I feel like you were trying to kind of see past like you see all those books and she's trying to reach for the the moon i feel like you were trying to reach this is definitely a soulmate connection you guys whoever you had this karma with is a soulmate so you guys were meant to go through this karma in order for you to release it for sure with that two 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 there there's a lot of twos here so i feel like you were trying to see past the fact that they were you know what they were doing you were trying to kind of tune in and you're but you didn't really you didn't listen to your intuition about the situation, okay? So, let's see. Who is putting the evil eye on you? Or who is jealous of you here? What's going on? Black magic. If I see it, I'll let you know. I feel like this person, I don't see, um, I'm not having a vision of like magic per se, but I do see this person talk very poorly about you. Like they have a lot to say about you, okay? I feel drawn to say my pile one, I want you guys to get a malachite for protection. Malachite is a highly protective stone for your heart. So pile one, you are an empath. You guys are intuitive as F. Um, so I really want you guys to kind of... Um, really get that stone for protection because this person it's like they're kind of talking poorly about you and they're judging you and it's like reaching you their negative energy i feel like they're coming in there in in your dreams okay pal one who's doing black magic on you or evil eye I feel like this person um, also has a, a, there's a masculine energy involved here who's also maybe attacking you or they also have a lot to say. I feel like they're very linked. This could be a Leo as well, okay? <clears throat> I feel like this is someone who may not show you up front. This is someone who may not show you how they really feel about you. They're hiding their envy. They're hiding their jealousy about you. And I feel like this is someone from the past. Again, so when you see them, they may look at you and they may not say anything or they may pretend like they're fine or, you know, they may pretend like everything's whatever. They they, they won't expose the truth here. But you see her face. The reality is there's a lot of anger towards you, but it's like repressed. Like this person is trying to hold it in. 
So let me see if I see any black magic cards. But who's envious of you or who's hating on you, bringing you evil eye? Pile one. There's something about, I'm getting, there's something about your money. I'm channeling a lot of money. So my viewers, you guys are manifestors. You guys are magicians. So someone here is envious of the way you make money, okay? And I feel like you are someone who has mastered the art of um, manifesting through positive intentions, okay? Because you guys are so intuitive. You have a very strong connection to source, the creator, okay? So who is envious of you here? Evil Eye, Black Magic. This could also be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. See, I said it was a Virgo intuitively, and I see the Virgo card, so that's coming through. Who's doing Black Magic on you? Who's envying you? Who's, like, jealous here? Or who's doing some spells on you? So it's interesting because this person still stalks you. Oh yeah, they are. They're definitely, there are some negative intentions here. Oof. Um, I don't see the magician card, but, um, oh yeah, they, they, so what they do is that they actually, this person is actually stalking your social media and they think very negatively of you and they envy you so fucking much. <laughs> that their negative energy is literally like coming through the screen. And is that possible? Like for energy? Yes, because I do Reiki long distance. Energy travels. You know what I mean? I don't need someone in my in, in, in my physical form here in front of me for this to happen. But this person, um, I feel they're, they're sending you a lot of ill wishes, especially with that high priest in reverse. I feel like this person... Um, they're definitely someone who is not really, so the high priest is about the hierophant, could be a Taurus as well, but this person, they are not using their spirituality for good here. Yes, yes, this person is definitely sending you black magic, but through their thoughts and through their words. This is not necessarily, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is not necessarily, um, you know, an actual, like, like ritual. I don't see that here. But this person, I feel like they they offered you something in the past or there was a lot there was a sense of like teamwork is what I'm hearing, teamwork, working together in the past. And I feel like what happened, I don't know if you guys went to court or there was a legal situation here, but I am feeling like there is a sense of resentment about money, money lost, money taken, or that you make a lot of money, or that you simply know how to manifest money in a way that this person does not know how to do, okay? And I feel like there's a lot of um, envy because of that. So I also feel that you have a strong sense of, you know, you have a strong sense of determination, like you know where you're going in life, and this person is very envious of that, okay? So, I feel that they, um, I'm hearing that they copied you a lot. This person definitely copied you a lot. This person has definitely been someone who's almost like obsessed with you, or they're obsessed with your image. If this is a love partner, this partner did not have a sense of identity, so you would know if this is true or not. Um, but this person can be a Cancer Leo or just a Cancer or a Leo. I'm seeing all signs here, to be honest with you. But intuitively, I feel that there was a sense of needing to be like you, to copy you, um, and also money being involved here. This person, um, I would just be careful because they slander. There's a lot of slander here intuitively. I feel like when they communicate about you or they talk about you, they they feel so negative about you. And because of this high priest, they really have a lot of spiritual power. And this devil in reverse, they are very negative. This person is from your past for sure. This person is from your childhood. This, this is someone who you've known from the past or they are just from the past. They slander you like crazy. Like, 
the the spells are coming from their fucking mouth because they have nothing good to say nothing and I feel um, what I am seeing is that they may try to, um, what I'm seeing is that they may try to put people against you. So with their words, they may try to tell people not to trust you, that you're fake or that you're evil, um, that you're no good, uh, you know, that sort of thing. I'm just curious, how can this, yeah, exactly. Oh my God, look, clarifying. The ace, the ace of Swords in reverse. This person does not talk well about you. There's a lot of cattiness here. So, how can this affect your life? Like, is this going to affect you? Just so you guys know where to protect yourself. Because I'm not really big on hexing. I don't believe in hexing, but I do believe in self-protection. I do believe in protecting yourself. So... Um, you know, people will carve out their own karma on their own with their negative ass vibes, with their, their hating energy, you know? So what area is this affecting you in your life right now? This may also be, um, some, a friend of a family members or something, but this person is very close to you. There's like a mutual friend here. How is this affecting your life? if at all. Pile one. How is this affecting your life, if at all? Oh, this person tries to come harass you in your dreams. Yeah, they try to like take your power or they have in the past. How does this affect you? Like they try to instill fear They try to instill fear through your dreams with the moon card. This person, what they're doing is they're actually like vampiring your energy. So make sure that you don't have anything that belongs to them anymore. Or you want to make sure you're cutting cords. Like you want to make sure that they're like even pictures, you guys. Like you want to make sure this person does not have anything of yours that they can look at. Like you can't really help if they're stalking you on social media. But this is about emotional vampirism, which is why intuitively it's crazy because I picked this stone for you and, and I did it like midway through this video. This is perfect for people who are trying to vamp your energy from your heart space. And this is for the people who literally they don't have their own sense of esteem. So they try to pull from you. Okay. So this person, they're, they were trying to keep you stuck in, fe in fear. And what happened is with their negativity, they were actually trying to get you to slow down. Some of you guys are definitely, I'm hearing bloggers or vloggers. There's something about you being in the public eye, you being very creative, and they were trying to stop this. They were literally trying to bind you by creating a negative circle of energy, okay? I feel like for some, this was like a friend. Um, I don't feel like this was a lover, to be honest, but it may be someone that you, you know, you cut ties with and then they got real crazy on you, but... Um, that's kind of what I'm seeing. So I feel like, yeah, there is someone here doing, um, you know, I would say like negatively speaking about you and it is creating a sense of, you know, spell and like it's creating a sense of, um, you know, negativity in your life. So the way you protect yourself, get this stone. Um, I'm hearing salt salt baths is big for you guys and I'm hearing something about the moon so use the moon to clear out any negative energies if you own anything that belongs to them anything that was originally theirs it doesn't matter what it is you need to toss it you need to be done with it because this person they have such dark energy that it's coming out of the objects and it's like their negative energy is still there, okay? So thank you, pile one. Let me know if that resonated. Let's do pile two. Okay, pile two. Who is doing black magic on you? Okay, so the stone that I was immediately drawn to is selenite for you guys. This stone, I think, I, you know, I just posted about what I do for a living and stuff, but 
I work as a medium, so I do connect with uh, people who have passed on. I'm constantly in contact with spirits and the angel, you know, the angelic realm. I'm constantly in contact with when I do my spiritual work. I do talk to people who have passed away, earthbound spirits, that sort of thing. And a lot of the times, sometimes, you know, the spirits are not in peace, okay? So I may have to travel and astral travel into a dimension where they are not at peace and they are suffering. And that can be very emotionally taxing for me. Or I've had situations where I've had psychic attacks and there are lower entities that are trying to attack me. And this stone, literally I sleep with this stone for protection because an entity cannot come close to selenite. This is like your strongest protection for entity attachments, okay? This is like, it'll clear your crown chakra. It's great for all over the body. I really love holding it. It makes me feel really peaceful. And it's also connected to the moon goddess and I'm very connected to the moon. So I really recommend it, okay? And I feel like I grabbed that for a reason. So let's see who's been doing some magic on you, who's envious of you, pile two. Okay, so I feel that some of you guys, you separated from someone here and I feel like they could not handle the fact that you separated from them or vice versa. Somebody, there was a separation here, okay? I'm feeling an obsessive energy. I'm really feeling an obsessive energy right now. Um, so who is doing black magic on you? Or who's sending you the evil eye? This person, I'm hearing January. This person's birthday is in January. So either they're a Capricorn or they're an Aquarius. So who's doing black magic on you? Yeah, and I feel like you broke things off with this person. But this person was really dark and obsessed with you. This person was dark. Okay, and they're very, they're very obsessed with you. And I feel like they did not... Um, yeah, they did not let this go. See that? They, I feel like they just could not let this go. This connection. I feel like this was a love connection here is what I'm getting. Wow. I feel like this person was trying to manipulate your energy. So what I do feel is that this person was like so obsessed with you, strong air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that they did not like they didn't want anyone else to have you. So they were like trying to manipulate your energy to stay. And you may have noticed this about them when you guys were together. This person was very um, possessive over you. This person was kind of over the top with jealousy. I am seeing an Aries, Leo, Sag as well. Okay. Um, if this is an air sign, this person was very vocal about their possession of you. But I feel if this was a fire sign, I feel the fire sign is definitely someone who was trying to bind you in this situation. This person was really trying to bind you. Like they were not trying to let you go. They were doing, they were definitely doing some kind of work on you that involved binding is what I'm hearing. Okay. So. Pile two. Who's doing black magic on you? Who's doing black magic on you, please? Who's doing black magic on you? I'm seeing something about traveling in airports, so I don't know. This person may be at a distance from you. Okay, this person is definitely someone you did not close out a cycle with. Um, I feel like this person really wanted a home with you or they wanted a, like a foundation. Who's doing black magic on you? Yeah, I feel like this is love, you guys. I feel like you guys were with someone who really tried to kind of block you. And it's almost like they blocked you from or they were trying to block you from new love is what I'm getting. But you know what? I feel like you guys are so, like, 
you guys are so in tune with your light that I don't think this person was able to actually get to you. So what I am seeing is that this person like obsessively kept all your things in a box or they obsessively kept something that you gave them. Um, I feel like they were trying to bind you for a while. They were trying to keep you from being happy is what I'm hearing. This person didn't want anyone else to have you and it was kind of... It was like one of those spells that, you know, if you were to be happy with someone else, they wanted to come in and ruin it is what I'm getting, okay? So, more specifically, this person, um, they either like the color Garnet, like the, you know, the stone, or their birthday. Yeah, it's something about Garnet here, the stone Garnet. So, look it up and you guys can let me know. I feel like this person used to wear a stone, a garnet stone, or a ruby. There's something about a red stone here. This person was like trying to manipulate you through sexual encounters. I feel like they were using sex as a way or intimacy as a way to kind of manipulate you. I feel like they were trying to attack you from your base chakra, which is all about your root. And it does represent sexuality. And it also represents, you know, your intimacy. And I feel like energetically, this is where they were trying to kind of cast your, you know, they were trying to bind you is through, um, Tox like toxicity in in sexual like connections here. How to put a spell on them? I'm just getting obsessive energy, and also it's like, yeah, they it's like they were watching you. It's like they were trying to like get you back. Is what I'm hearing. This person did black light. do some evil, evil eye. Yeah, and so I feel like it, it was more like they were just trying to keep you attached by having sex with you or like hooking up with you. I feel like the negativity really came from, yeah, they were doing binding work, but it might not have been actual like spell work. I think what they were doing is what I'm seeing here is that they were trying to like, you know, you were trying to move on or you did move on from them. You're trying to find your security, but they, it's like, they would pull you back in with a sexual connection. And I feel like you kept going back to them because maybe you guys had a strong connection here, okay? They were trying to block you. Literally, they were trying to block you from having love ever again. This person could not handle the fact that you changed on them. Um, they could not handle the fact that you left them in the past. And with this universe in reverse, I really feel like this person has like negative energy involving like their lower chakras. So this person might be um, very promiscuous is what I'm hearing. And I feel like because they had such a high sense of charm and seduction, they really tried to seduce you. They try to keep you from moving on energetically. They're like blocking you from seeing anyone else. Um, or they're ill wishing, like they're, they were trying to kind of grab some of your stuff and like they were wishing and wishing you'd come back. And they were also trying to get some binding stuff to kind of keep you from people. But I don't feel it was professional. Okay. And also they were trying to affect your luck in love. So let's look, look at this card again. They're trying, I'm telling you, they were trying to throw a lot of shade involving you know, your love life, like they're trying to keep you from like actually loving someone with the universe in reverse. They, they did not want you to move on and complete a cycle. You may have given this person a ring. I'm seeing a ring here. I'm seeing traveling. There's traveling involved in the situation or this person travels. I'm seeing, um, the color green here. So maybe they're, they like the color green or there's something involving money. This person likes to wear headphones. Maybe they wear big headphones. Maybe they like wearing Air Force Ones because I'm hearing that. Or maybe they were in the military. Um, and this person likes barbecue. I know that sounds crazy, but... 
So with the foundation in reverse, again, you didn't want what they wanted from you. They wanted a home. They wanted something like committed or maybe, you, you know, you moved into their house for a short period of time and they thought it was going to be all good. But then you moved out and you realized you didn't want to move there. So again, that selenite clearing out that that energy and they see you moving on and they're having a hard time. So they're really trying to kind of attack you from a place of weakness. So maybe some of you guys have a weak root chakra so please they're using money oh i just heard they're using money to manipulate you or they were using money to manipulate you so maybe some of you guys need to clear your your root chakra okay if you're easily led by finances and money that's how they're getting to you so this is about being assertive okay so being assertive and let go so this is saying that you know i don't feel like this person will have a strong impact if you've let them go and you are assertive because this person is scared of like a very strong powerful energy so you have to set boundaries around this person and then they'll back off okay i am i am seeing a lot of salts as well salts you guys do not go to sleep with that assault back you need to kind of cleanse your energy from this person they are thinking too much and they're obsessing over you so that's the black magic that they're doing they're actually trying to block you from love okay and the way you can kind of cut through that is make sure that you're constantly clearing with uh, salts and also I'm hearing um, meditation is big and uh, spending a lot of time with the earth and prayer you need to make sure you're praying I don't care who you're praying to but you need to have a a systematic approach to your protection like every night I pray every night I pray to Archangel Michael whoever you're praying to you need to create like a ritual of prayers in order to start like a shield okay because I feel like this person they really their thoughts try to astral travel to you so be careful for that all right pile three pile three Let's see who's working the magic on you or who's doing black magic on you. So almost instantly, I'm really attracted to this Amatrine, okay? I'm sorry, not Amatrine. This is an Amazonite, okay? So this stone is really beautiful for calming anxiety, calming stress. So some of you guys may have a lot of stress or, or you live a very stress, stressful life. And this stone is really good to ease. It eases your nervous system and it's really good for the throat and the heart chakra, okay? I love this stone. This is a stone that I'm always trying, you know, I meditate with because I'm very highly anxious. So this is a stone of protection for you guys, okay? So pile three, what's happening here for you guys? Hmm. hmm. Who's doing black magic on you? There's something about roses here, okay? So I think um, another ritual for you guys of protection is to do like a self-love rose ritual. Um, there's something, I feel like you're being attacked because pile three, you have a lower self-esteem or you're going through a time where you don't feel really good about yourself and people are attacking your heart is what I'm getting, okay? Um, so I really want you guys to really do uh, rose petal baths, focus on roses as a ritual of protection, boundaries, okay, boundaries, because if you think of a rose, you know, you think of the, the thorns, it's beautiful, but there's also a sense of boundary here. So a lot of compassion and self-love, heart chakra energy. I do feel like there's a family member here, an aunt or an uncle. There's someone here, okay? I feel, ooh, ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This person is dark. This person is dark. Oh my God. That shit hit me like, I don't want to tap into that. <laughs> um... You guys have a masculine energy that's this person is bald so they have a short haircut they have no hair um, they're very they're almost demonic looking because that's how they're presenting themselves 
this person is someone who it's like they're very angry they're very angry and i feel like this is an aunt or an uncle um they wear white shirts a lot who's sending you black magic here They wear a ring, a really big ring. It's like, um, it looks like a square shaped ring in on their middle finger or they wear it somewhere on their hand. Um, it's not a wedding ring. It's like a, 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 it looks like a magical ring, but this person is really involved in stuff. Um, This person has a problem with your mother. This is a family member who has a problem with your mother and the abundance or the separation. I feel like someone's mother here separated from a family member and is doing a lot better without the tribe of the family or financially there was an inheritance of some sort and there's someone here who's very angry about not getting the money. So there is a lot of anger here. Um, Who's doing black magic on you? I feel like this person is a strong cancer. Scorpio Pisces. The energy who's doing it. Or Sagittarius Leo Aries. Strong Aries. Um, Libra. So what I am seeing is that there is an issue. There was here like bickering about finances or about money or about jealousy of your mother being someone who had more than them or they felt like your mother was not being um like your mother wasn't sharing their assets or she or that she wasn't sharing her emotional support in a situation this person wears really weird jeans like and they have a belly this per this is like an old old like an older an older masculine energy here okay I'm seeing bald. I'm seeing a man, to be honest with you. So this may resonate with just a few, but it could be a woman as well. Um, and I feel like they do have a ring on their, and their hands are very uh, chubby and they're very like short. Um, so there's an anger here about what your mother didn't do. And I feel like this is like a family feud, okay? So I feel like this person literally was trying to like sabotage you, but you are so protected that their attempts constantly failed. Who's doing black magic on you? Their attempts constantly failed. And I feel like a big part of it is that this person doesn't like your mother, so they automatically don't like you, even though this is family. It's like crazy, right? Um, and I feel like a big part of this is that they see you guys living this abundant life, or they see you living differently, like you're living different. And they don't like that you're living in this glow. You and your you and your family on your your closest uh, family side. I feel like you guys are very abundant in spirit and wealth in nature. Like your soul essence is very wealthy, and I feel like a lot of you guys have strong a strong sense of moral like morality or like values. And I feel like whoever this person is, they don't like that about you, and they don't like that about your mother either. They feel like you think you're better than everyone. They think that, you know, you're not a part of the family. And then I'm also seeing money. So this person, I feel, put literally like tried to put some brujeria on your mother, to be honest with you. And I feel like this was literally connected to you because this person is also trying to kind of ruin your life too. Because of envy and because they feel betrayed by your family. You guys might be separated. You guys, this might be like a, a second cousin or a third cousin. But I feel like there's two separate tribal families. But the thing is, Pile 3, you're so strong. Like your ancestors got your back so tough that every attempt to destroy you didn't work. You know why? Because literally you guys have such a strong, you see that it says resistance. Your ancestors were like, psych, not today, boo. 
You see how, you see this big can? Nope. Nope. They try to throw some major shade and destroy your you and your family's name and the action is in reverse. Nope. Mm-mm. They did though. They really did. I feel like they really try to curse your mom. I don't like your mother. This is like, if it's not a mother, this is an aunt. This is someone you're really close to. You'll know who I'm talking about. And I feel like this indirectly, like, really affected you. Like, okay, look. Okay, look. Check this out. You and your family on your mother's side is like this. Like, there's a lot of abundance. There's a lot of self-respect. And they were trying to literally cast, like, spells on you to leave you here in the void, in the emptiness. They didn't want you to have this person is so evil they didn't even want you to have anyone they wanted you to rot by yourself oh that's ugly i'm sorry you guys i don't really want i don't like tapping into that energy i'm doing it for the reading but this person is dark like this person has like evil eyes on top of like they have like little i don't know like this person does not they are not good people so amitrine Sorry, I keep calling it Amatrine. I'm sorry, you guys. This is Amazoniite. And then also, um, you guys need two. Okay? This is Obsidian. You need this. This is going to absorb any attacks. Because this person, um, I don't know. I don't feel like this is current. But I feel like you guys went through something tough. But this person is still looking at you with the evil eye. So who is putting spells on you or who is putting black magic on you? Look at that. This could also be uh, a Leo Satch. Yeah, exactly. I said that intuitively. I, I'm getting a confirmation that it could be a fire sign here. It could be a woman. It could be a man. Doesn't matter. Um, I feel like they tried to target your money and your abundance the most. And they didn't want you to move on. They wanted to keep you in stagnation. They wanted to like overwhelm you with your emotions is what I'm seeing, okay? They wanted to overwhelm you with your emotions. They wanted to kind of bring in, this is for me, this is like a small like energy of, of magic here. There was an offer being made, but they didn't want they didn't want you or your family to have this offer because they see you as so glorious and standing in your power and they feel betrayed. I mean, let's look at these cards, my viewers. This is you. Look how beautiful and elegant you look. And if this is not a family member, this is literally someone out to try to fucking get you. Like they're trying, a masculine. This is a masculine trying to like sabotage you someone who looks like they're tan this person's tan i'm seeing someone who's dark a little, little bit on the darker skin um like kind of olive kind of tan they have um a bald head again they have a little belly they wear jeans and a white shirt they wear a ring um this person like they have really small eyes um i already said the signs and i feel like they were at a hospital when your mother was at a hospital, maybe visiting someone who was dying. So there's something surrounding that, okay? Um, I feel like there's magic, a lot of magic in your family. People practice on like on the low low. They might not say anything. You guys come from ancestors who definitely practice magic. So who's casting this black magic in the evil eye? Give me a little bit more on this story, please, spirit. Give me a little bit more here. Who's doing the casting? And what was being affected here? Oh, yeah, there's there's definitely black magic here. Okay. Woo, child. Yes. Yes. This person did not. They they did not. They they see you in your full. Whether this is a family member or not, they see you being abundant and they're trying to stop you from it. Okay. Um, I see the high priestess here. I see all the magic cards, the magician, 
The devil, absolutely. And look, look what they're targeting. They know, they know that you're rich in spirit and abundance and everything. Like they're, that you're very wealthy. You're very wealthy when it comes to your own inner wealth, more than outer wealth. You may not have a lot to show out, like outer wealth, but to them, you and your family or whatever it is, you have a lot to show. They don't like that. Okay, they don't like that at all. They're trying to stop you from it. So they're targeting, they're, they're really trying to get you to, I feel like psychically, they're trying to instill fear. This person is trying to visit you through your psychic dreams, your dreams or your daydreams or your thoughts. They're trying to manipulate their negative energy to keep you stuck. Okay? So they are definitely very emotionally immature as well. Like they're not handling themselves or conducting themselves in the right way, obviously. Now let's see. Let's get a little bit more. How is this affecting you if it is? Who knows? Because I feel like your ancestors are very strong. A lot of you guys have ancestors that are literally like ready to pounce anyone who fucks with you. So like I'm talking about the spirit world. They got your back. So is this affecting you? How three and how? How is this affecting you? Oof. Yes. There it it okay. Um Okay, listen. I'll tell you how it's affecting you. So this person, um, they want to slow you down. They want to slow you down in your tracks because they see you, you're moving ahead, you're moving on, you're doing things in life. They don't want you to move on. This person wants to keep you trapped. They feel like you owe them something. They feel like, you know, you and whoever you're rolling with betrayed them or whatever it is. But they're trying to keep you trapped in this energy, okay? So they're going to try to like limit the amount that they work with you like they're they're gonna try to like this might even be someone you work with i feel family but it could be so many different scenarios okay but i feel like they're gonna try to fuck with your money or how you work um they're trying to put a stop to it okay and the way they're doing that is they might even offer you a very promising deal they might offer you a deal that might even be hard to resist is what I'm hearing because it's financial and it might hit you when you guys need money or there's something about you and your family needing money. Maybe you guys had a recent loss and they're going to come in trying to smooth talk you and into a financial agreement. Don't do it because again, there's a lot of psychic attacks here. Okay. This person is trying to get in your dreams, not only your thoughts, but your dreams. This is how evil they are. They're trying to get in your dreams and they're trying to fuck with your head and they're trying to lower your self-esteem. Like they're trying to keep you bound from succeeding in life. So let's do a close out. How can you protect yourself? Yes, ask others. So definitely go get some work done for protection, okay? And um, yes, they are doing magic on you. <laughs> Oh my God, but you have helpful people. So the spirit realm is on your side, okay? So this is the time, it's perfect timing that I'm doing this video for you guys. So here's a recommendation. Um, I want you guys to focus on dark stones. Hematite is a good one as well. You guys are getting all the stones and also make sure that you have a shield of protection. And if you do not feed it, don't feed it energy because they feed off your fear. So if you're scared of them, they're, they're more strong. You want to make sure that you are not afraid. Stand in your power. Stand in your courage. Be powerful and show them that you're not afraid. And that's going to like minimize the psychic attack. Okay. I am getting candles. So a lot of you guys may need to start doing candle work. Um, do a lot of candles. I'm hearing domination. So do work around dominating like purple candles, black candles for transmuting the negative energy. Um, and I'm seeing Archangel Michael is the angel you need to work with. Archangel Michael, actually, there's a candle for Archangel Michael in purple for to clear psychic attacks. That's what I use when people want to get in my head or there's energies that are trying to like, you know, trying to attack me when it comes to the spirit world. I always use a purple Saint Michael and I really recommend that because this person is definitely trying to target your self-love, okay? 
and also prayer goes a long way and limit the amount of talking about this person do not talk about them don't feed it energy just try to like clear it out of your mind and really focus on you know um the obsidian and also the amazonite okay to bring you a lot of peace during this time all right my loves i hope that helped Mwah. thank you so much comment below let me know if it resonates bye